So lately I made a video about skin swap, or in other words, adding different skins to the characters you have in the game so that the player can unlock and change them from within the game itself. I did so by having each skin as a separate game object set inside the main game object for the character. And then I realized that this will cause a ton of effort when adding animations as you will have to animate every single skin separately. So I had to find another way to do it and at the same time reduce the effort in animating. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that the first method is wrong, as it will be the only working way if you want to have each skin with different abilities. The way I will be explaining in this video is perfect if you have the skins change only the visual appearance of the characters, not their abilities or animations. Now without wasting any more time, let's do it. Welcome to a new video by the Gamesmith. So all I got here is this character which can only move up and down. So far it does not have the ability to change its skin. So let's add it. First of all, we'll go to our player control script. Instead of declaring a new game object as in the previous method, we will be declaring a public sprite renderer and we will call it sprite renderer. After that, we will need to declare a public sprite and we will call this one skin1 one, followed by another public sprite skin2. After that we will need to declare a bool and we will call it sprite1active Then in the start function we will need to set our sprite renderer dot sprite to be equal to our skin1 so right now I'll be changing the character skin from within the same script by pressing the space bar. But please note that you can also do this from a totally different scene just by calling the sprite one active bool from this script. Now we will head to our update function and set the input. So if input dot get key down and that key is the space bar. I'm sorry. Now we will need to set the sprite one active to be equal to not sprite one active. So this will change the value of the sprite one active from true to false and vice versa whenever the player presses the space bar. Now let's continue. Then we will need to check if sprite one active is true. In this case we will need to set our sprite renderer to show the first skin. To do so, we will have our sprite renderer dot sprite to be equal to our skin one. Then else, we will need our sprite renderer dot sprite to be showing our skin two or the second skin of the character. Now save the script, return back to Unity, go to our player character and drag and drop each of our sprite render, skin1, skin2 to each corresponding field. Now run the game and you will see that whenever you press the spacebar, the character changes its sprite without affecting its physical abilities. One more time, please note that this method will only work if your skin only changes the visual appearance of the character and does not change any of its abilities. If it changes the abilities, then the first method will be the one to go. If you learned something new today, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with any friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is the Gamesmith, and as usual, see you in the next one.